Your diesel is designed to last hundreds of thousands of miles, but most vehicles today barely make it past 100,000 before major problems start creeping in. The reason isn't bad engineering or cheap parts. It's because drivers are unknowingly destroying their engines with five common habits that car dealers won't tell you about. Let's start with the biggest killer of all. Number one, extended oil change intervals. Those 10,000 to 15,000 mile oil change intervals in your owner's manual seem convenient, but they're based on ideal driving conditions that most of us never experience. Here's what the manufacturers assume. You drive on smooth highways at steady speeds, never sit in traffic, always use premium fuel, and live in a climate-controlled bubble. But that's not reality, is it? In the real world, you're stuck in stop-and-go traffic. You make short trips where your engine never fully warms up. You drive in extreme temperatures, whether it's scorching summer heat or freezing winter cold. All of these conditions are considered severe by automotive engineers. This is where the 5,000 to 6,500 mile rule comes in. Remember this, oil is cheap, engines are not. Regular oil changes cost you a few hundred per year. A new engine, that's thousands upon thousands. Do the math. But here's where it gets even worse for modern diesels. Number two, over-reliance on auto stop start systems. Auto stop start technology sounds brilliant on paper. The engine shuts off at red lights, saves fuel, reduces emissions. What could go wrong? Everything, as it turns out. Yes, manufacturers have beefed up the starters and batteries in these systems. Yes, they've designed them to handle hundreds of thousands of cycles. But even these heavy-duty components wear out much quicker than traditional systems, and replacing them can be surprisingly costly. Then comes the oil pressure issues. Here's the concern. Auto stop start systems increase the number of engine starts dramatically. While these aren't cold starts, and modern engines are designed to retain oil in critical areas during brief stops, the additional cycling still puts extra stress on components like starters, batteries, and engine mounts that wouldn't exist with traditional systems. Multiply this by dozens of times per day, and you're looking at accelerated wear. The turbocharger, if your car has one, faces an even bigger problem. Turbos spin at incredible speeds and run extremely hot. When the engine suddenly shuts off, that turbo is still spinning and still hot, but the oil circulation that cools it just stopped. So, the solution? Well, most cars actually let you disable the auto stop start system. All you gotta do is use that button. Seriously, your wallet will thank you when you're not replacing starters, batteries, and turbos ahead of schedule. Speaking of turbos, diesel drivers are making an even costlier mistake. Number three, revving and driving your diesel immediately after starting. This alone can cut your engine's life drastically. Here's the scene that plays out countless times every day. Cold diesel engine starts up, driver immediately puts it in gear and drives off. Or even worse, revs the engine to warm it up faster. This is honestly a diesel engine wrecker. Diesel engines are built tough, but they need time to reach operating temperature. Unlike gasoline engines, diesels rely heavily on compression to ignite fuel. When cold, this combustion process is inefficient and incomplete, leading to fuel dilution in your oil and carbon buildup in your cylinders. But the real damage happens to your turbocharger. That turbo is trying to spool up while the oil is still thick and cold. The bearings inside are working overtime without proper lubrication. Do this every day for a year, and you're looking at turbo failure long before 100,000 miles. The fix is simple, but requires patience. Start your diesel and let it idle for 30 seconds to a minute. Don't rev it, don't race the engine, just let it run. Then drive gently for the first few minutes until the temperature gauge starts moving. Your turbo, your engine, and your bank account will all benefit. But even if you're perfect with oil changes and warm-up procedures, there's a silent killer that most drivers completely ignore. Number four, neglecting coolant system maintenance. So, when was the last time you thought about your coolant? If you're like most drivers, honestly, the answer is probably never. And that's exactly why coolant system failure is, well, one of the leading causes of catastrophic engine damage. Some manufacturers even claim their coolant is good for 200,000 miles or more. In all fairness, it is, but should you leave it? This is where following the manual can actually cost you dearly. All right, here's what happens to coolant over time. It doesn't just sit there keeping your engine cool, you know? It's constantly fighting corrosion, neutralizing acids, and preventing scale buildup. 
Those additives that protect your engine, they get depleted, usually much faster than the manufacturer estimates. Old coolant becomes acidic. Acidic coolant eats away at gaskets, seals, and even metal components. It clogs up your radiator and heater core. And worst of all, it stops doing its primary job of preventing overheating. The smart money says, flush your coolant every 30,000 to 50,000 miles. Regardless of what the manual says, it's a relatively inexpensive service that can prevent massive engine damage. When you consider that a blown head gasket or cracked engine block can total your car, coolant maintenance becomes a no-brainer. And if you're driving a turbo diesel, there's one final habit that's costing you big time. Number five, immediate turbo engine shutdown after hard driving. You've just finished a long highway drive, or maybe you've been pushing your diesel through some spirited driving. You pull into your driveway, shut off the engine immediately, and head inside. You've just shortened your turbo's life significantly. Here's the problem. Your turbocharger just spent the last few minutes spinning at up to 200,000 RPM while running at temperatures over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. When you shut off the engine, that turbo is still spinning and still incredibly hot. But the oil circulation that cools it just stopped. Modern turbos do have water-cooled and oil-cooled systems that continue working for a short time after shutdown. But even with these improvements, giving your turbo a few minutes to cool down is cheap insurance against expensive failures. The solution is simple. After any extended driving or spirited driving session, let your engine idle for 30 seconds to 2 minutes before shutting it off. This allows the turbo to spin down gradually while still receiving cooling oil flow. This habit alone can extend your turbo's life from 100,000 miles to 200,000 miles or more. Considering that turbo replacement costs thousands, those few minutes of idling time are the best investment you'll ever make. Your diesel car is designed to last well beyond 100,000 miles, but only if you stop making these five critical habits. Change your oil more frequently than the manual suggests. Disable auto stop start when possible. Give diesel engines time to warm up. Don't ignore coolant maintenance. And always let turbocharged engines cool down properly. These aren't expensive modifications or complicated procedures. They're simple habits that separate diesel vehicles that fail before 100,000 miles from those that run forever. The choice is yours. But remember, every time you skip these steps, you're gambling with thousands in repair costs. Your engine is counting on you to make the right choice. That's it for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or helpful diesel maintenance tips, please write them down in the comments below. And if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.